Let's see what these guys got. All right, so at, like we said, if you haven't played Poro King, this is also going to reveal a little bit about how to play. You can see that they have Poros chasing them now. You have your own Poro. You can feed it. I like mm -hmm. that aspect. We also see that some icons have been purchased in light of the Poros and the Poro bundles. See uh, the Poros right, yeah. in space. You got some astronaut Poros astronaut there from Maple Poros, Street. indeed. And yeah. we'll see what they can do. You, like I said, you can feed your own. And when you see a Poro, two of them, the big one is the one that's always with you. But you can see now, High's Poro is gone, the second one. That means he's thrown it. The cooldown will come back. And that seconds. cooldown will refresh quicker if you take your Poro. But we're going to begin now. And Poros are off. Oh, man. Can't exactly see the counts, but we will see the king drop when it happens. Full Pantheon effects. Right, exactly. So uh, whenever your team lands 10 Poros and enemy champions, minions don't count. So good. Uh, after the 10th land, the, the Poro King comes out. And the Poro King is basically, it's like the dragon. It's the level of the average level champion in the game. And he has an equivalently ranked uh, Pantheon ultimate. Drops down, and then he's a big dude who just kind he's of... He's a big dude. He basically he's like a kind big of a Sunfire cape in a way, in that uh, it just damages the guys who are around him and he heals teammates around him. He just kind of soaks up aggro and lets you push in. He also gravity wells uh, any Poro throws. Oh, so he yeah. actually takes them for your team. But, but you can like want it. Oh, High going deep. High tries to go in. He puts on the clone. I don't think he's going to get out of this one alive. He goes down first. Kind of just like the regular great games. Lucy's <laughs> going to be the next one. Maple Street picking up a lot of kills here. He went here full we go. Poro 80 King. carry. That's the Poro King freak. And this means a lot of damage is going to be coming out. This is where the AD carry comes in big. Maple Street's got a few levels on himself already. Actually, everybody's level three. I don't even know what I'm talking about. High comes back, and he dies immediately. We oh didn't my talk God. about Poro Dash. Once the Poro's there, you can dash to him from wherever on the map. Exactly. And it's, gl it's global range, really short cooldown, like 10 seconds or something. Oh. So if you die, you just come right Woo. back. Anyway, there we go. High rejoins the fight, and it makes <laughs> it so easy to five-man siege. Team Poro goes hand. They respawn anyway. Quick item build picked up. Five oh, to three oh. already against the tower. Sneaky hit his Poro. That's a miss Poro by Cali. Poros also do a bit of true damage. That'll scale with the game. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Let's see Dominate. Is he dominating? 0-0-4. Assist for the jungler. He's doing what he needs to do to snowball the team. Sneaky goes down hard. Porpoise Pops gets knocked up with a special there. They don't even know what's going on. And it is hard for Maple Street to get these shots in. You were right. Short range AD carry. It's not offering much just yet. Yeah, and unfortunately, Maple was the guy. Oh, oh man, a couple things picked up there. Maple was the guy who actually great, understood great. the game mode the most. He was the first to feed a Poro into his teammates. He was the first one we saw pick a, a skin for the Poros as well. Ooh. Midos does get picked off. But the Twitch, he's 5-1. and one. Maple Street's clearly putting the practice here. Maybe practice. Twitch will pay off. All the practice, indeed. Maple Street knows what he's doing. Poro's missing left and right. Good dodge by Dodo. Oh, no, no. He gets hit by two. That's going to activate Poro now coming in for Poro Kings. And that's huge. Nice hit by Slushy. He tries to stop the advantageous push. Coming in from Kings. That wasn't great. Dominate. That's wow. not what you want to do. Maple secured every single kill so far this game. His really? timing on Holy expunge crap. has been freaking amazing. Or sorry, contaminate. All right, all right. Yeah, I, I, I got to hand it to him. Maple is really saying, guys, this is the first, this is the only time you're going to see me for the rest of the year. Ooh. Remember when I went 12-1 and one in, in Legend of the Poro King. Remember this AD carry. Remember this team. So far, it's looking good. Looking good indeed. That's not good, though, for Meteos. Meteos didn't have, I don't know. I mean, he just gets crazy when he doesn't have a smite. Can't control himself. Just kind of dove in there without any, any help. He thinks he's smiting enemy champions. Like he's picked up the chilling smite or something, and not the case. Oh, missed. He actually teleports into the enemy. Oh, missed. God, these guys, I don't even, it's either good dodging or they're just eyes are closed while they're throwing Poros <laughs> right now. I'm not it, too sure. It, you always feel like you're going to land it because you're like, all right, I'm going to line that up here, and it's going to go right as they walk in, and they just juke. You just throw it into a ball of people. Yeah. They're like there. Slushy. Bam. Hit Slushy. Got hit. Oh, he, he takes it. Oh, the three-man knock knockup. Hello. That's going to be huge. Wukong coming in strong. That's three down already. They have no idea what hit them. That's the perfect thing oh, about Poro King. Knockback. Impale. Nice grab, and he's able to pull all the way back out of turret range. Porpoise, you're he's not going to get popped. World. You're done. Porpoise yep. indeed is popped. I like that. True to the name. Yeah. You know. Hey, I've had time to prepare, right? Teammate qualified for a while. Yeah. I'm waiting for the trundle top to come out from uh, teammate as well. So that Cali yeah. Trolls has really, really lived up to his name. Meteos doing it again. That no smite craze. Oh, the enemy, enemy base. Oh, they all go in. Now that they die, they're able to go all the way to the inhibitor turret here. And it looks like they're just going to start stomping. Is game one going to be over this soon? I mean, there five minutes, minutes on the inhibitor. Freak. Oh, I, man. It, none of my games went like this. No, none at all. But this is absolutely incredible. Looks like the, the Dominate Meteos duo is working quite nicely. Oh, Meteos. Waiting for an item by maybe. He's not there even he goes, part of this Where is one. he? Does he know he can do it? Was he waiting for items? 
Uh, is it, is I think it it's what dead now? Greedios? Yeah, Greedios. No 4 can wow. go off. Wow. The... Well, here's the thing, though. You got to be careful about ARAM because you respawn at different times. You don't want to go That's in true. by yourself. You, you know? can't I'm, be that guy. I'm channeling a little bit of D Man and Joe, who are the big ARAM experts. I've played enough to right. kind of contest That's them true. a little bit That's in knowledge. Mm -hmm. You don't want to limp in one by one. It's like you're testing a Baron, right? You go in, you give him Baron and three more kills, you're going to lose the game. So yeah. they give up the Poro King. They give up the just the kills they had. But no, Slushy wants Ooh. it anyway. Boom! Headbutts to Kao. Does he headbutt back? He's got the same answer, the same medicine, but he delivers it to high this time. That's Chum the Waters going out. This is a pretty big brawl right now. Dominates in the middle. He don't think he has a pale left. Shockwave is big. That was sneaky coming up. Now, obviously, no Orianna on the Poro side. And Kings, mm -hmm. they're trying to make a last-ditch effort here. They only have, like, what is that, 50 damage on the turret right now? They haven't done anything in six minutes. And like we said, they're the ones with the AD carry. So they should actually be farther in from what we said before, but apparently well, we're wrong. They've they got a really good king. chance here, though. A lot of ultis are down. It they've got the Rune King done on Twitch as well, so he's hit his first power spike, and the Poro King is here. So it's going to be at least one turret. We'll see if they get more, but no, Poros go in again. Oh, Medios, he's by himself. Nice, very nice Cyclone getting a full pop up on four. Double kill coming in. That's going to be for High doing what he can, and it's going to be even bigger hits. That's actually Slushy picking up a kill for himself with a triple kill for high. They cleaned up right there. But there's yeah. the thing is you you can still push. It still becomes a ram. But you want to hit your Poros. You want the king to push. It makes it so much easier. Porpoise getting hit with one, dodging Ooh. the next one. And that's actually my preference. I yep. go with the gentleman Poro. The gentleman Poro. Well. I actually use it as well. I think it's yeah. a great skin It's choice. a good skin. Definitely. I think it's the optimal choice I think here. it's the one you should go with. I agree. Yeah. Gentlemen. You know, I want to point out, though, by the way, a special Kali... Uh, as well as Medios still have not fed their Poros, though. They are true haters. Wow. That's that's another thing. I like that you brought that up, Freak, because I was going to bring up that I think people miss out on a completely whole branch of gameplay in ARAM when you don't feed the Poro. I agree. You just get such satisfaction. How frequently can you get everyone to feed the same Poro and make him explode? I've done ARAM? it like at least a dozen times. Okay. Oh, my God. This is getting brutal right now. Battlecast 4 from Medios looking plenty happy. Nice. Medios oh. just fed him here. I think Medios was stream ghosting, by the way. As soon as I mentioned, <laughs> he feeds his own Poro. So I don't know, man. Medios is uh, looking a little shady here in this one. You gotta but feed it. Into the base, the Poro King, two guys dead as well. This could be a game winning push if they can make it happen. 25 to 16. I'm so surprised they have more. I think Dodo's doing a lot of work behind the scenes. We haven't been really paying attention to the Crow Storm, or rather, Dark Wind. It's silencing the crap out of people all over the place. Oh, yeah. But wow. They are just hitting things left and right. I think this was a calculated death by uh -oh. a lot of the members. Hits it. Sneaky. What are you going to do with that? There he goes. Yeah, he actually gets the dissonance down. Dodo back over. They give the double kill to Sneaky. That wasn't Sneaky at all. But they do get the ace, and we see it kind of teetering back and forth now, but it's always a stronger push from Poro. Kings are really on the back foot. I mean, here's the thing is, anytime Team Poro just dies, they get to buy and come back against strong. Like, this was actually a perfectly timed ace. There's no Poro King out for yeah, they Team get so King. Many kills. Right, and also they all revive before the kills came in. So all that oh, money got from those kills, not in the pockets right now, not turned into items. Team King, honestly, very underpowered right now. I think it's going to be a tough road for them. Kelly oh. got that. He did take the impale. Medios gets popped, gets grabbed, gets ping pong, gets taken down. I don't even think he knows what happens. Got his cage rattled there. And another double kill coming in for Sneaky. He's really on the forefront of the kills here, but they're being set up by the team. Teed up on the platter. He takes it. That's a nice hit. And that's going to be the headbutt pulverize. Where's the, where's the headbutt? Where's the headbutt? It was, oh. the, it was the Poro pulverize. There was no headbutt. Kelly 8. No mana, Whoa. but he's in the fight trying to get some kills. 28 to 25. I don't know. Kings are coming up quite quick. Now they're up yeah. in gold. The AD carry is going to start pulling big things off here. He's going for the double blade build as well. Oh, Dodo, the silence is going to fall off, but oh. no, Medios takes him out. I don't know, special. I don't know about that choice. Maybe he needed some purchases. Medios going hard. Chum the waters. I think he dodged out on that shockwave. That was pretty sexy. Oh, no. So. Nope. Nope. He's dead. I don't, I don't even know. It doesn't what even I'm matter. Who cares? He blends in with the map. That's true, actually. I wonder if Snowdown skins have like an unfair advantage in the map because you can't see Good them. dodge. Like hide against the terrain. Yeah. Those missed skill shots, I need to know you're coming in at all. Also, it's good to mention. Yeah. You can see this if you're in the game. That Poros cannot be blocked by shields or walls or whatnot. They are not yep. spells. They're creatures. That's true. Yeah, so wind doesn't stop them, nor do spell shields. No. So Sivir's still good, just not for the reasons you might expect. Oh, good ahead, but nothing doing by Dodo. He should have oh, seen that coming. That's such a bad feeling. Like, you just feel coming, like though. you accomplished nothing there. Oh, no, no, okay. no, you died. He died, oh, yeah. Oh, the Portal King. We haven't had one in a little bit now. Dodo this is going to be big. 
So Portal Kings Middle. don't do that much damage, but they do help you push. They're a nuisance. They allow your team to do pushing. They allow people to really come back. They're, yeah. they're like a huge utility bomb for your team. It's a it's Fantastic. a big boon for your pushing power. Yeah. Because I believe... Uh, oh, oh yes! he did it! He did it! Dominate oh! is going down. That's the kind of move the you want to see. Super Impale. I like it. I like it. Dominate gets one off to say, hey, my stinger's not as big, <laughs> but here you go. Oh, that was Everyone fantastic. That Everybody's was loving it right now. I'm glad they saw that. I'm glad we actually got to see it. What <laughs> happened over there? Oh, did he just go back? Did he try to grab back? Did yeah, he? yeah, rocket grab into uh, grab something else. Oh, into the, the poro. Does he take it? Take it, Sneaky. Take it, it, Sneaky! Come on! All right, so you have, what is it, three-second window to take it? Uh, for the Q, I think so. For right? you, I no, keep saying Q. I think Q. it's Lee Sin. I always think it's Lee Sin, which is why, <laughs> by the way, it's D and F because it's Lee Sin, Q, and W. It lines up. If you ever play Lee Sin, you can't turn those around. You change There's it. There's no way. You change it. You can. No, that's you a can horrible do idea. You want to your Rip skill. You're wrong. Oh, the shockwave, Whoa! though. Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen, this could be a double ace if it really comes down to it. It's going to be Porpoise. Nah, the damage is gone. Maple Street died way die. too fast. Double ace. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm going to go back to school. 11 minutes into this one, and Poro just showed that they're even bigger when King has their King. That was oh too man. good. That's not what you want to see. When your King's up and you get squashed that bad, that's when you just give up the castle. And you got two Phoenix coming in as well. I mean, honestly, you've got different kinds of Poros. Shadow Isles Poros coming in. Oh! Oh, he oh. got him! He got the Poro King right at the start here. So this is going to be oh, that's it. Push this that's going to be an ender. I think it's an ender. What? You call ender? Under 12 minutes? Is it going to be an ender? Oh, ender. Uh, no. It's ulti Twitch. I think they can't win here. Oh, they can't win. All right. Poro King's going down, dude. All They're not right. even trying. Honestly, Team Poro giving up what the is, king here. What? What? Uh oh. Contails I don't know. Everywhere. This is a lot of chaos. They're just going crazy. This nope, isn't a good dying. time to die. King's coming back hard. I don't know if they can afford to do this. Dodo! I'm actually not trying to Run for your life! There. That doesn't give you speed! The silence will help! It's. Ow! Oh, no, smashing pumpkins. What's the game mode where you get a haste? Oh, no, it's on tree line. You get the health relic and it gives you speed. Yeah. I think that could happen somewhere. It's on tree line for sure. Like the middle relic gives you speed and health. Mm. And I was like, I yeah, I'm like used to seeing that though and expecting it, but not on the yeah. Howling Abyss. That'd be pretty that'd be actually pretty OP. Whoa, Slushy. Oh, he's getting a little ahead of himself. People have a lot of damage now. Yeah, you you can still headbutt and you throw poros. But that doesn't mean people don't scale when they hit level 14 and 13. Uh oh, they gotta be careful. It's a 4v5. Now, one thing as well is what I really like about things like Blitzcrank is if you do catch someone, everyone gets to land a Poro. You get five stacks immediately for a Blitzcrank hook that lands, as long as they're all paying attention. So. That's true. Oh. Poro King could be coming out very Ooh. soon. Miss and a minion. Oh, Battle Cast. I like that one. It looks cool. It's like a yeah. running furnace. And uh, right there following Dodo is the uh, Dragon Slayer, the purple ones. Is that what they are? I'm pretty certain. I could like be wrong. Little luchadores. Sneaky. Oh, the Zanyas plays. Sneaky up. trying to do what he can, but he still goes down. Eye's going to follow right after. Teammates showing each other a little bit of love tap there. 38 to 36. The kills are really mounting up now. We're only getting 14 minutes into this one. Porpoise running away. He's going to have overdrive on, and Poro just coming out on top of this one. Really freak. Not much Kings can oh. do. Running around. Look at him limping that away. That juke, though, was sexy. Arrows to each of their knees. He hit a minion with the with the uh, Poro toss and actually kited away. Uh, what if he can get executed on this one? There's no one around to stop him. He might deny gold. Shield. You know, in Europe, you're not allowed to do this. In no. Europe, they actually consider they it get uh, so against bad. the rules to execute. D-Man the thinks it's rubbish. Yeah, well. I mean, if, if they, were my, they were against my rules, I think it's rubbish. That's fair. That's but you know what? Right. He's just wrong. <laughs> That's all there is to it, really. In this meta, you can die all you want. Exactly. As Dominate feels Bam. the need to do so, he goes down 3-2. That's going to be a nice little trade there. Uh, gold getting up there as well. We're almost at about 100,000 on that gold side. All and right. Up. The and King's there for the, the revise. Medias can show up here. He's going to. Whee! Nice. I like it. Wasn't even planned. Synergy. And so, obviously, the King helps push. I said he doesn't do much damage, but you see the volley of Poros he throws out all the time like mortars. Yep. That actually does quite a bit of damage. Does damage to things around it as well. A couple hundred, yeah. Is it true? Is it no, true? Magic. Poros? magic. Just magic. Damage, yeah. Just magic. Yeah, throwing Poros is true, true damage. damage. But long yeah. Poros do magic damage. Just so you know. They kind of... Just Poros so are you interesting know. like that. You know, they, they change their sort oh. of dynamics depending on how they're thrown through the air. Sneaky. He got bit once. He doesn't want to get bit again. Oh. Dominate into the turret. Meteos tries to dive back in. Yeah, I don't think he's going to get anything.
anything out of this one. He dies. Fizzles, fizzles out. <laughs> oh, no. I got it. Was that on purpose? Yeah. Okay, I was making sure. Okay. Things like that don't. Unintentional happen. puns happen all the time. No. I've. You people tell people me I make puns know. that I don't make. Unintentional puns don't happen. Yes, they, trust me, they do. I just take credit from after the fact, but I know deep inside. You think of all of them. that I took those without really thinking you have of it a myself. Punctionary. Yeah, I try to keep them pretty punchy. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, oh the, the cyclone! Maple Street, Maple Street, hide! Go invisible! He's safe, safe indeed. Looks like he couldn't hide from that one. He and now Slushy. Oh. <laughs> you started it. I nope. wasn't gonna go for any. I didn't start anything. What? You, I just made reference. You to made them. the first pun and started talking. Medios about does this all the time. I can't tell if it's high or Medios playing Fizz right now. They all just go in and die. Dang, shots fired. <laughs> And then come the rest of Team King, though. They've got the King there. And also, keep in mind, three guys from blue team are dead. So this is going to be at least a turret. Ten seconds could be inhibitor as well. This could be the comeback push here for King. The, oh, <laughs> the double no. Skarner ultimate. Nothing happens. Nice. Down goes Dominic. I liked it. I've actually never seen that before. Getting a lot of new things here on Poro King. Game one. I, I, I really don't know. I thought this was going in favor of Poro all the way. But King, they have a huge push. They have their King as well. And Slushy... Throws on the unbreakable will. He's going to get broken, though. This isn't going to last very long for him. And uh, that king goes down fast. Oh, they finally man. got focus, but it draws them in. Sneaky using the king as utility to get the ball into place and get a nice shockwave down. Maple Street gets just out of range. He does have a blade, but he can't find anyone oh. to shoot. Meteos gets that one before he goes down, but is it enough? They don't have any minions. They don't have the king. Like we said, getting the ace means you can't hit more Poros. So it's tough to get the king back. And at the very least, though, for Team King, they got them all to die on the other side of the map, so not much will be gained. And in fact, they might still win this fight. Oh. Kelly oh. is going to get the heal. Dominic suddenly has got nowhere to go on this one. And honestly, being outnumbered, even though he's tanky, Dominic's making a name for himself in this one. I feel like he's even more effective than Meteos is, so he might be winning oh. that. Uh, pride battle, Slushy getting ulted. What? Can he do the damage? Looks like the answer is no. No. Oh, no, he got one. He can, he can headbutt Kelly. Oh, it oh. takes the Poro. That's great. I think follow-up. I think I should do some follow-up damage if you take the Poro. Well, it makes you at least untargetable. I'm so, like, you can dodge skills with it. That's, like, benefit. Yeah. You're really not sold. <laughs> you want it to be, like, a Lee Sin Q. It does, like, execute damage and, like, destroys people's faces. Not, not, not execute damage. It's, uh, I don't know. Execute true Just damage. a little bit more. It'll Just, feel it's good. It's a silver bolts proc. Or, like, there's, a, there's like, a uh, sweet explosion when you get there. Right? I agree with sweet explosion. Yeah. At least you put the snowflake over their heads. That's something. That's true. It also interacts with a uh, sorcery elixir, I just realized. It does extra true damage. Really? Yeah, because anytime you damage an enemy champion, there's a trigger on that, and oh, of course, crap. throwing a Poro counts. That, I, nope, I don't think Meteos has a handle on that right now. Oh, also, by the way, the red elixir is crazy overpowered in this map. Why is that, freak? Uh, so you get 10% lifesteal on any physical damage to help the champions, and you get 30 seconds bonus duration on any killer assist. And there's been 50 of those so far. <laughs> so it, you buy it the second you die at level 9. I don't care if you're going to finish any other item in the game. And it never falls off. So you should just buy this immediately. All right. You heard it here. The PSA from Freak. Yep. Get the Elixir of Wrath. Wrath, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Ruin, Iron, Sorcery, and Wrath. Yep. That is true. Now, can you name all the smite items? I can't yet. I haven't tried enough. I know it's like Chilling Smite, Challenging Smite, and there's a Rager's Trailblazer. And then a thing that no one buys. Oh, I thought you meant like stalkers, poachers, and that stuff. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean both. Fair enough. Like, I know yeah. like the name of the smite. I don't know the name of the item for like half and half. Poaching smite. Or poacher's knife. Something like that. <laughs> it's good. That's the other one. We'll so have at least uh, I got something. We'll have study class tonight. <laughs> Great. We'll do it. We're going to have to do that for like every new season. Oh, right. well, they're going to have oh. to do something for this engagement. Cali 8. Uh-oh, Skarner, he's going to not go down. Actually, good shields. Kelly ain't being a nuisance. The rest of the team gets the focus. That's going to be Maple Street getting hit up. He cannot find safety. Medios was able to find that address. Yeah, it looks like they strut. Oh, wow. The cow getting pissed right now. He just He's able to just drop two. Very nicely done. Cow's on both oh, sides. The hook. Dominate. A lot of beef in nice. this one. <laughs> yeah, they're both alive. Coming First up at 20. That's, like, that's, that's why I said I can't believe Alistar's not banned. He lives forever in this mode. Because Special really wanted it. There's always minions dying. He's always healing. Yep. You're always going to have mana. If you're getting oh. hit by two turrets, your chances of dying go up slightly. <laughs> slightly. Still okay, right. though. You're all right. 
jump back to the 4-0 king. These turrets are pretty low, though, both below half. Oh. You see the Triforce proc, oh, Sheen proc, Freak. plenty of damage. This be There's game. one. They're going for the second one. Everyone's reviving, coming back. The king is still alive. Dodo can rejoin the army soon. He comes across the map. Oh, dear. This could be the game, but suddenly, getting bit outnumbered is a 3v3 on the map. A special going low. Dodo's going to die, oh, though. Oh. What is king cap? What? That's what? some items. He does damage. He just Chillin'. crush fiddlesticks. Yeah. All right, they're safe. They're safe for now. King Special needs to die, like, immediately. Yeah. Oh, the dodge! Slushy. King Cat, you gotta though. open your eyes when you throw your Poro, buddy. I think he's still gonna get him. Oh, the stun as well. Slushy knows he needs to die. This is the best thing that can happen. The sooner he dies, the sooner he comes yep. back. Hopefully his team can hit some Poros. But it's, uh, it's actually King that's gonna get the Poro now. So if King dies in these fights, Likely. the time is long to respawn, but they'll be able to get all the way to the base of Poro immediately. Yeah, single single person executes won't actually mean very much here. So it's got to be like a partial team wipe, and you got to kill the yeah. king before guys respawn, or you get reinforced. It's I, I like the fact that all those things of Howling Bis still apply. That like there's a strategic way to die, and you need yep. to get back in time, and you need to make sure you get your core items with the right deaths. And, and it balances the class is really well too. Yeah, like as much as you can blind pick the Nidalee and stuff like that, and yeah, okay, healers are still very <laughs> strong, especially, but like. Galio got banned and Alistair was first picked, right? Like, those didn't happen in ARM before, and they they're legitimately very good now. Yes, they are. As, yes, as much as Nidalees are annoying, play Skarner and then jump back to the Poro King, <laughs> and she's dead <laughs> every single time. Sai, he bought a Banshee's Veil. It doesn't work. Oh, he it'll actually help against just... Shark. It, it'll help a Shark, but he just got hit. Oh, like, again. I don't know if Corpus. But here comes the Poro King. Everyone alive. 10v10. This actually could be... Game winning push for this King. Big. This is where we see if not having an AD carry comes into play. They did hit theirs. But you cannot spawn your King when the other King is up. You have to destroy it first. So they're not accruing any Poro points right now Five as health. this is up. And remember, like you said, it's a sync one. Oh, oh, this is the fight freak. Dodo's this is gonna, gonna die. That's Fiddlesticks going down. Dodo didn't have anything he could do oh with my a God. shockwave. Locks it's up everyone the team. dying. Oh, it's a triple kill coming in for Sneaky. Can he get any more coming off of this? I cannot believe they came back. Their oh, Nexus wow. turrets aren't even up right now. And game one is going to go to King. They were gritting their teeth the entire time. They were in their base at five minutes in. Poro had the game, but they just could not find the win. Something we've been seeing a lot lately, Freak. Wow, incredible play right there. Team King, Captain Expecial, put together the team comp, Woo. you know.